Hello and welcome back to Lightning Gaming everyone. So guys in this video I'm gonna show you my personal two best weapons of each weapon class in Conan Exiles on the Exile plane. And I will also be showing you guys the location where you can find these weapons. So yeah guys if you're new to the channel please remember to subscribe and also if you enjoyed the video please leave a like. Now let's get straight into the first weapon. Alright, so the first weapon class we'll be starting with is the Katanas. So guys, I'm gonna start with my favorite one, which will be the Musashi's Black Blade. Like you guys can see, it's 74 health damage and 13% armor pen. And after Master Weapon fighting, it's 79 health damage and 25% armor pen. Okay guys, just a quick demonstration on how much damage it does. I will be testing all the weapons against the Arena Champion because he has very good armor and health. Okay guys, now where to find the Musashi's Black Blade? So guys, you can find the Musashi's Black Blade at Yamaraya Fortress. You can also find it in legendary chests. But this will be by far the easiest way, so you're gonna come and jump over here. Then you're gonna climb up this wall. And right over this wall, you're just gonna jump down here. And run towards this building and inside this building, as you enter the building on your left hand side, you will find the Musashi's Black Blade. Very easy to get and you can get a bunch of these. Now guys, the second katana on my list is the Curved Slayer. 71 health damage and 13% armor pen. After Master Weapon fighting, it's 76 health damage and 25% armor pen. Okay guys, let's just quickly see how much damage this one does. Nice damage there, very good weapon as well. Also it has the bleeding effect, which make it even better. Now guys, where to find the curved slayer? So to get the curved slayer, you wanna go to the abandoned silver mine. Once you get here, just enter the dungeon. And once you get into the dungeon, you just want to head all the way down. Just pass a few NPCs here. And there's a few scorpions as well. But once you get to this area with the mist, you want to look for this guy. And he is the one that will drop you the curved slayer. So guys, after killing him a few times, as you can see, there we go. That's how you get the curved slayer. Next up is the two-handed axes. So the first one we're gonna be starting off with is the star metal great axe. Like you can see guys, 75 health damage with zero armor penetration. And after Master Weapon fighting, we're up to 80 health damage and 12% armor pen. Now guys, let's just quickly see how it does against the Arena Champion. Like you see, not as good as the Katanas, but still it's the second best two-handed axe. And that's about the damage you will get out of this one. Okay guys, so how to get it? So in order to craft this weapon, you're gonna need a bladesmith and you're gonna craft it on the blacksmith's bench right over there That's the only way of getting this axe Now the second one on my list will be the C4 Fag 90 half damage, 0 armor penetration, and after master weapon fighting, we're up to 95 half damage and 12% armor penetration. Okay, so let's eat the arena champion with this one. Now guys, this one has a bleeding effect, that's very good for a double-handed axe weapon. And like you guys can see, a lot of damage there, not bad at all. The only problem is getting this weapon because there's a lot of grinding into it and you're gonna have to kill back a few times before you actually get it. How to get this one? You're gonna go to Sapanero City 
and you're gonna enter the wine cellar dungeon that's right over here on the map. Now, after you get inside the dungeon, you're just gonna make your way all the way to the end of the dungeon. I'm just gonna fly so we, I can show you guys faster. So yeah guys, you're just gonna follow this path through the maze and stuff until you reach the very end of the dungeon. I'm just gonna fly over here just to get there faster. There we go, once you reach the end of the dungeon you wanna run into this building over here. And this is where you're gonna battle Fag, which is the only boss in the game that drops the side for Fag. So you're gonna come up here and you're gonna light all these fires and able to enable the boss to spawn in. Just gonna run around and activate all these fires. Alright, and after you activate them, you'll see the boss will appear. Now guys, like I said, you're gonna have to kill this guy multiple times before the cypher fag will spawn in. But yeah, eventually after killing him, you'll get it from here. There we go. Next up is the two-handed hammers. Starting off with the world breaker being the first one on our list. 68 health damage and 67 armor penetration. And after master weapon fitting it's 73 health damage and 79% armor penetration which is very very good. Now guys look at how much damage I do to the arena champion because of the bounce of armor penetration. I'm just destroying this boss, taking her down in no time at all. You don't want to cause trouble here. Now guys, this is also one of the easier weapons to find on the exiled lands. So, to get this weapon, you wanna go to the Warmaker dungeon right over here on the map. Once you get here, you just wanna enter the dungeon. And once you enter the dungeon, just make your way down the stairs and you're gonna go straight past this first boss just open this gate and now you wanna keep going and you wanna go through the second door as well alright guys and now you just keep on going you wanna go down here as well and then over here you wanna make a left turn and this boss right over here, this blue skeleton, is the only one that drops the world breaker and he drops it really frequently. Now guys, like you see, after killing him one or two times, there we go, there's the world breaker. Alright guys, the second hammer, I thought I should include this one as well, is the Mice Place Guardian world breaker. 82 health damage, 60 armor pen, and after the master weapon fighting, 87 health damage and 72 armor pen. Now this one you're gonna have to buy with ancient obelis. But let's just quickly check out the damage. Also very great because of that super high armor penetration. Killing the arena champion in no time at all. Making very very quick work of her. There we go. Okay guys, like I say, the only way to obtain this weapon is by the trader caravan. And you're gonna go into trade, and then he's gonna charge you 1000 ancient obelisks for the hammer, which is not that bad. And yeah, it's still a very good weapon. Next up is the two-handed sword. The first one we're gonna start off from is the Blade of the Adventurer. 74 health damage and 15% armor pen. And after master weapon fitting, you'll get it up to 79 health damage and 27 armor penetration. Okay guys, now just for the quick demonstration of how much damage it does. 
Is this gonna eat a Rina champion a few times with this one? There we go, like you can see, not bad damage at all. I can just eat him a few more times. There we go. Alright guys, now where to find this weapon? So unfortunately there's no bosses that drops this weapon and the only way you'll be able to get it is through legendary chests, like you see right over here at the end of dungeons. Alright guys, moving on to the second one is the Annihilator. 75 health damage with a 33% armor pen. And after master weapon fitting, we'll get it up to 80 health damage and 45% armor penetration. Okay, let's eat the arena champion again and see how much damage we get out of that sword. They're coming! You picked the wrong fight! There we go. Not bad damage at all. Definitely one of my favorites. Alright guys, now I'm gonna show you guys how to get this one. So guys, this weapon can also be found at the Warmaker's Dungeon right over here on the map. So guys, once again, you go into the dungeon. And once you go in, you're just gonna make your way down the stairs again. And you're gonna go past this first boss. Into this door over here. And then same as with the world breaker, you wanna go through this door. And you're gonna proceed straight past these skeletons. And once you get down here, make a left. Exactly the same boss as the world breaker. So we're just gonna kill this guy again. And then if you're lucky, also a good spawn chance. But when you're lucky, you'll get annihilated right over here. Now moving on to our next weapon, this is the one-handed sword. So guys, we're gonna start off with the drunkard's blade, 60 damage and then 9% armor penetration and after master weapon, 65 half damage and 21% armor pen. Now for the quick demonstration against the Rina champion. Not bad at all for one handed sword, like you can see over there. Let me do one more combo, and we're gonna move on to where to find this weapon. There we go. Now guys, this weapon can be found at the unnamed city. You can find it by killing any of these skeleton bosses, they all have a chance to drop it. It's a command right here, then we have the Watcher. And the Flame Guardian as well. So uh, each one of these bosses have a chance to drop their sword. Now for the second one ended. Sword on our list is the Sword of Champions. 83 health damage. 20% armor pen. And after Master Weapon fitting, you'll get it up to 88 health damage and 32% armor penetration. Now guys, this one does actually good damage, let me show you guys quickly. And it also has the bleeding effect. Like you can see there, we can take the Rina champion down in no time with this weapon. We do one more combo and we can move on to where to find it. Alright, so this weapon can be found at the Well of Skelos in the Volcano biome. So you wanna go and you wanna jump down as well over here. There we go. Now guys, once you started this dungeon, you just wanna follow this path over here. Just go down here. As you would go to the fort. Once you get here, go left. And then just follow the path again. And you wanna go all the way to those ruins over here, and on your left side, it's this guy right over here. He has a chance to drop that sword, 
and also killing him a few times, he will eventually get a sort of champions. Next up is Spears and Pikes. So the first one we'll be looking at is the Black Dragon Pike. 65 health damage with 7% armor pen. And now after applying the master weapon fatigue you'll get it up to 70 health damage and 19% armor penetration. Now guys, with what makes those weapons good is the reach we get on them. Like you can see it has a great reach and also it does bleeding damage as well. <laughs> that rhino really interfered there, eh? but no problem. Let me do a few more reach and I'm gonna move on to where to find this one. Alright, I think you got a good idea of the damage that one do. So once again guys, this one can only be found at legendary chests, at the end of dungeons. Alright guys, moving on to number 2 is the Mordlin. 67 health damage and 9% armor pen, and after master weapon fighting, 72 health damage and 21% armor pen. Now guys, like you can see, this one has an even better reach. Also does a little bit more damage. Still a very good weapon and very nice to use. Okay, now that you have an idea of the damage, let me show you where to find this one quickly. So for this one, we're gonna head over to the Warmaker's Dungeon again. Now guys, once you enter the dungeon, you want to make your way down the stairs again. And we're gonna go past this first boss and we're gonna go into this door again. And then on your left, the green door, you want to go into that one. Now you're gonna have to take out these guys over here and then go into the next door. And this big guy right over here, he has the best chance to drop this weapon. And eventually, after killing him a few times, you'll get your maudlin. Now guys, the next two weapons is only a bonus I decided to put into this video. Both of these weapons you can only use light attack. The first one is the Predatory Blade, 180 health damage, 9% armor pen. And then 113 health damage and 21 armor pen after Master Weapon fighting. Now guys, let me just quickly show you how much damage this one does. The only problem with this weapon is because you can't do any heavy attacks. But still it does a decent amount of damage. And it's very easy to get this weapon as well. So for this one you want to head to the unnamed city again. Once you get here you want to look for this guy, the brute. He's the only one that drops this weapon. And after killing him, you'll find the predatory plate. Really easy, really simple to get this one. Now the other weapon I decided to put in here is the Axe of the Lion. Also once again, you can only do light attacks with this one. After Master Weapon fighting, you'll get it up to 180 health damage with 12% armor pen. Now I just quickly want to show you how much damage this one does. He's the Arena Champion a few times. There we go, let's see if it again. Gotta do one more combo and we can move on to where to find this weapon. Now guys, this one can also be found by opening legendary chests at end of dungeons. Thank you all for watching, see you in the next video.